for you building a character, especially on something like either To the Wonder or this where there's so much that is suggested, what's the work that you do? How much of that is based on the script and how much is just based on finding a way to give that inner life? Actually, it's it's a combination. Um, of course, there are uh, f first the base of every movie is a script, and uh, the script is very important. And uh, uh, well, to take then it's the director uh, um, after the script, and to take uh, well the difference between Oblivion and To the Wonder is very big one because in To the Wonder there was no script, uh, there was just. Terrence Malick. Um, and you're out and, hunting for whatever it's worth. <laughs> and, but he told all the story. Um, he told me so many uh, fables and things about my character, about her backstory, everything. I, I got, I, I was like a sponge. I bathed in it. So I actually, I became, I became her, Marina, um, little by little, by talk, just by talking to him. But, um, and it was, well, it was a completely different way of preparing character. I had to read three big, big novels, um, uh, Russian novels, Anna Karenina, Brother Karamazov, and Idiot. They're, they're very, very, uh, very big Russian novels. And uh, that's, that's like uh, five scripts together. So it's true that the base was quite strong and then we discussed it all. And uh, in Oblivion, um, uh, we had the script and I spoke to Joe a lot and to Joe and Tom actually we we rehearsed we rehearsed lots of scenes we, we spoke about them we did uh, uh, script readings um, which is again rehearsal is something very different um, inexistent in Malik's work he would never rehearse uh, he's against that because it's all about instinct and spontaneity so to prepare character it depends what is required and who you're working with. Uh, sometimes it's reading s novels, books. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's also working, um, talking to the with di the director because you're kind of finding it together. It's about communication and bringing, bringing ideas, building sometimes characters' backstory. Also, um, in, my, in the case of Julia, I watched um, um, just films on YouTube um, about astronauts uh, and uh, and the training they go through uh, because I just needed to understand um, you know what how difficult it is and it's extremely difficult when you okay you, you're familiar uh, <laughs> I, can I, see. I grew up in Florida and <laughs> those guys were the superheroes okay. that you you kind Voila. of looked up so to. You, so you know and I saw videos and you see like big strong guys passing out yeah uh, they don't they can't stand the test and then I thought okay Julia I mean I play her <laughs> you, you know I think she must be uh, I thought that she must be extremely uh, resistant and also physically strong and mentally strong to be able to be allowed to go to space because if you don't pass it at that physical test the pressure and spinning and yeah, all there's of that just no doing there's it. no way you don't go so she's you understand she's actually tough physically but she is in the movie a romantic character so I also had to stay she's not the she's not this uh, badass action hero actually well you know I don't know if it's if I'm uncovering too much but it's you know it's a very human story like I, and, and that's the thing I really buy the relationship and I, I think if you don't none of it works none and, of it works. and you guys have a lovely rapport thanks but it's it's about love that basically um, it, it teaches us a lot, and one of the subjects is love. That um, you know, true, strong love never dies. Uh, you know, whether it's 70 years later, um, true love is always there, and it survives. Uh, you know, um, decades, maybe centu probably centuries. It lives beyond, and um, and it lives in memories and somewhere in space. I think it's energy. Love is energy that never dies. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com. <laughs>